when when will they stop when will they stop can't handle this when will they stop i mean when you think you got this down pat they just made a change and i have well when will they stop making changes anyways Here's what I have to say to you guys. So we had a recent comment from a former community member and a viewer called Post that said, uh, you don't have anything about running scripts in containers, which was on my buddy's exam last week. We'll definitely include something like that in a future video with Postman exec. So when will they stop to make the changes? Anyways, they can change all, we, all they want. We will, we will be here to help one another and make it happen. So without no other further ado, let's make this happen. So how can we run scripts inside containers? So this is all about the last, well, it's not the last one anymore, but never mind. So the containers contents of the exam of RHEL 9.3, we have all the contents on my previous videos, go and check them out, but there's a change. Apparently, sometimes they ask you to run a, a script inside a container which is something we will learn today, how to run a script inside a container. And I'm going to also throw you guys a couple of bonuses things. So here's our script. Hello, SH. How, how cool is that? Okay. So I want to put this, this script inside a container and make it work. All right. So I have this, uh, some, I have this ready for you guys, like a cooking show. So don't, I don't, don't, don't need to watch me type or everything else. So here we go. How to run scripts inside a container? Let's see. At, let's see at least three method, methods to do so. If you're watching this in a short form, come and join me on the long form, Ozoid Beats, on that uh, video channel, or check my blog, slash oblog See you there. The long form peeps. Here we go. So let's see. Let's see. So we have Podman PS. I have some containers running here for us to test, and for the all the Docker peeps. Docker, Podman, it's all the same thing. I'm just used to Podman, so it's not that important. Not 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 important. So we will use this guy. We will use this guy here, this uh, test container two for our testing. So I'm going to show you at least three methods to make a script run inside a container. At least three. Okay, there will probably be more, most likely, but these three will work fine for most situations, and you can work around this for another approach, different than this 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 couple or three approaches. So let's start with, let's call, call the Podman exec, and let's try this guy here. So basically I'm going to execute an interactive terminal on my second container, and it's going to be a bash, a bash. Okay, it's going to be our bash shell. Bing, bang, bosh, there we go. Bob's your uncle, and we are, we are inside the container. And we are running in some with some sort of context. We, we in this case we are user ID 101, which is fine. It's fine. It works fine. This will be good enough. Then you can you just need to uh, run your get your scripts, get that copied somewhere. Go to the to go there. Where are we? We are somewhere here, which is fine. Um, let's say they they ask you a specific folder, create the folder and do that. It's fine. So I'm okay. Do whatever. In this case, I will try to do. Let's call this my. Let's call it hello .sh. I don't have vim, but I do have vi. Insert. You put it there. You save it. There you go. You have your hello .sh. And you just uh, do it hello.sh. It's not, it's, it's not still executable, which is not. So let's remove that guy I just saved. So ch mode uh, my plus x hello.sh. And now you can just ex execute it hello.sh, hello world. So that's one way to do it. So let's, let's just uh, log in with, uh, to the terminal with the exec, exec and interactive terminal the container name and the shell, you can use bash, you can use sh, whatever the one you can want or can, try one, try the other, either one will work. So that's one way to do it. So if you, ha if you have to do it as root, I have here, so you can also do this like this, podman exec, user ID zero, IT, and everything is the same. So the thing here is just to user IDs to do or to run and you will be same jibber jabber, but now we are root and not that 1001. And the, th the same thing applies. 
So vi hello dot sh. Uh, it's already there because it's we are in the same folder. So let's do hello two, paste it. Oh shit. Let's get the script again. <clears throat> yeah, I'm lazy. I don't want to. I really don't want to type this and have typos. You paste the script to save the script, ch mode plus x, hello to sh. And there we go. It's working. It's fine. Now I have two scripts. One was created with the root user. The other one was created with the regular user. We we'll both used bash. They are both bash scripts, which is the one I know the best, but it should work also with shell with sh. You are done. Next question. Another way, Podman. Yes, the same guy. We can try and do this Podman. Podman CP, Podman CP, and hello, hello, pod.sh, uh, test container 2, and we can copy this, I don't know, man, a TMP folder. I don't even know if this the, 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 um, the container has a TMP folder. I think it does. There we go. So ls ls l l. It's it's and it's it's executable already. So hello dot sh. So three methods to run the script inside the container. You can copy the script if I already have the script created. You just copy there and execute there. We're fine. Uh, that's that's a, that's the well. Here's a copy the copy command. You can copy there to where they want you to copy, or just copy to one location and then log in with the Excel and copy to the diff, to the final location. We're good to go. We can execute uh, interactive terminal using the root con context user ID zero and you are root, or you can just try a non-root user get in use VI to create your script and you are and Bob's your uncle. So what did we learn here? So we learned here many many things: how to run how to run and create a script inside a container using a non-root user, non-root user in the container how to use, create an executable script inside a container using the root user in the container, how to copy the script inside a container and execute a container, how to run an interactive shell using without regular user context inside the container, and how to create an interactive shell terminal inside a container as the root context. So less than 10 minutes video and look at, look at all, all the things we managed to achieve. There is nothing you cannot achieve uh, when we work together. Thanks for the community members for the feedback. Thanks for the community members for all the suggestions. And we are getting close to 1K subscribers. It's a very, very important point of turning point for our channel. Thank you guys for all of that. Let's get that 1K and after that, 100K. Like, subscribe, and comment until it helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay strong, guys.